In this video I will retouch, sand and stain the pallet chair. I will round the corners of the armrests. And I will cut some shape in the back rest and in the seat. I make a mark in the middle. I measure and I mark one reference point to each side. And I draw the shape freehand. And this is the shape I want to cut. Now in the back rest I mark the middle in the top edge. And I draw the shape I want to cut in one side. When I cut this I will use it as a template to draw and to cut the same shape in the other side. I also draw the shape I want to cut in this board. And when I cut it I will use the piece I will remove to draw and to cut the same shape in the board in the other side of the backrest. And now I can disassemble the pallet chair. I unscrew all the screws I have in each piece and I number all the pieces so I'll know how to put together all the pieces again. It takes me a little while to disassemble the chair. But because all the parts are held with screws, it is very easy to disassemble. And now there I have all the parts, and I can cut them with the jigsaw. I cut the curves in the corners in both armrests. I cut the support, it goes behind the backrest. I use the piece I removed as a template to draw and to cut in the other end of the board. I fit it in the end. I draw the shape and I cut with my jigsaw. These boards are the seat and the back legs. I also drew those shapes in the gaps for the wheels. They will look better. I clamp the board with my homemade one-handed clamp and I cut it. And it looks better than what I expected. You can follow the links in this video to watch how I made this chair and to the plans. These boards are the backrest, and I have to cut the shape I drew here, and I will use the piece I will remove to draw and to cut the shape here. This is the piece I cut off from here. I turn it like that. I adjust it there, and I draw the shape, and I cut. This is the piece I cut off from here. This goes like that in the board I have just cut. 
I turn it like that. I adjust it there. And I draw the shape. And I cut with my jigsaw. Now, this board is from the backrest, and it has that crack. I use a clamp to level both sides of the crack. I want to insert one screw there, so I drill a guide hole. I take the clamp off, and with the help of a screwdriver I open the crack. I use a broom to clean it. And I pour some carpenter's glue. And I use a splinter to spread the glue. Once again I level both sides of the crack, but I don't press too hard. And I use another clamp to close the crack. I tighten the first clamp. And I drive the screw. I clean the excess of glue. And now I don't have to worry about this board can break. I have already cut all the pallet boards and I will sand them with the orbital sander. I sand all the surfaces, and when I erase one number, I write it again before I forget which number I have to write. I also sand the edges of the boards. And I sand the rounded corners. And I sand all the cuts I made. I also round some corners I forgot to cut. It is more difficult to sand the small parts, and I cannot forget to write the numbers when I erase them. It was hard work, and I needed nearly 3 hours to sand everything. But now all the parts are ready. Now I use a sanding sponge to go over all the parts, smoothing all the corners and getting rid of all the splinters I see. Finally, this is ready to stain. I clean the dust out of the small parts and the short boards. I wear the gloves and the mask, and I begin to apply this walnut stain, which is also a wood protector. First, I paint one face of the board. 
I insert the tip of two screws and one nail. I turn the board and I finish it. Later I decided to paint first the edges of the board because then it is easier to smooth the paint in the corners and I get a better end result. I clean the dust out of the longer boards and I stain them and because I don't have more room on the work table I need another table to stain the last two pallet boards. Because there is a lot of humidity this day, this wood protector needed two days to dry. But finally I can put together all the parts of this garden chair. It was a lot of work, but I think this kind of Adironda garden chair now looks great. At least it looks much better than in the beginning of this video. Thanks for watching. You can find all my good working videos in my channel in YouTube. And if you like my videos, thanks for subscribing to my channel.